it is some philosophical mystery of how on earth Star Wars Hunters is actually super fun. It is a galactic, confusing conundrum of how Star Wars Hunters is actually worth your time. Because everything about this game, from its mobile UI, to its monetization trappings, to its low fanfare release, tells you that this game should not be very good. And yet this game is really a ton of fun, and I gotta bring some love and attention to it. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. This is freaking cool. Uh, I have been very big into Star Wars lately, thanks to Star Wars Unlimited, the card game. And I gotta tell you, like, this is a very fun time. The production values are pretty sweet, okay? The performance is really strong, and it's just quick, easy, dumb fun and sometimes that's great and sometimes that's absolutely worth free i don't think you know there's anything wrong with having a game that you know is not game of the year material but that is like a good time right like that is what star wars hunters is and i've spent zero dollars and it's just fun i gotta say one thing that contributes to this game being fun is the fact that i don't think the best players in uh you know the uh the shooter space are here i think they're you know busy playing uh warzone or they're busy playing i don't know something else but not this game and um i'm here having a super successful super strong time and the, the star wars nature of it is really cool as well like i think it's pretty darn dope that it's original star wars characters and not just you know, your typical, A. Hey, I got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, you know, we do have some people that you've never heard of before, right? Like, who is Amara Vex? Who is, uh, you know, Utuni? Who is this Wookiee that's not Chewbacca? But it controls well on Switch. It plays well on Switch. It runs well on Switch. Like, we've got everything you want out of this going pretty good except like the mobile game trappings but you can i think you can ignore those and just have like a good time i really really think you can and maybe you're like ah pish posh there's no way this is right zach but i'm telling you this is not a sponsored video i got no reason to like this i really don't like games like fortnite and things of that sort so i'm just as surprised as you that i'm having a great time with this game but i'm having a great time with this game and uh, I think the character variety is really awesome. There's healers, there's tanks. The shooting feels pretty darn solid, especially for a Switch game. As weird as that sounds, like I don't typically enjoy uh, the way Switch games feel, but this one, it feels great to play. It's easy to play. It's a pick up and play game that has, you know, some great touches and really strong production values. Um, I think that yes, you can kind of get hooked into the system of unlocking characters and as someone who's like obsessed with Marvel Snap, like, oh, that was really nice. I have a great fun time going through, you know, unlocks and skins and variants and all that, but you absolutely don't have to. I think even just going through the normal Hunter Unlock trail, this game is totally awesome and to wow, totally a great time as I got super sick vengeance there. Could someone shoot me to heal me? And I will admit, like I said, I think part of it is that the player base is not very strong. Um, oh gosh, stunned, and they, look at that, he interrupted my ultimate. Pretty freaking crazy, but it's also just got a lot of good Star Wars charm. Star Wars is, is back right now with the Acolyte, Star Wars is back with Star Wars Unlimited, the epic card game that I recommend to all of you if you ever liked a card game in your life. And Star Wars is back with Star Wars Hunters, which is like, it's just easy entertainment, and it's quality. No matter what you think about Zynga or Words with Friends or, you know, the games they've made in the past. If you play this on Switch and you treat this like it's a free-to-play console game. Not something that maybe you're going to be obsessed with for 10 months, but maybe something that you'll get two good months out of. I think this is a really strong title. The fact that it is completely free is really cool, right? Like, the fact that you can get in immediately and play this on Switch is very fun. And I think... The fact that they made a online multiplayer game that works very well on Switch, like, that is really darn dope. And yes, you know, there's all of these different UI elements that really look like, you know, straight out of a mobile game. And it's because they are. But I would never want to play this game on mobile. I would want to play this game absolutely on Switch. I think that's where it really shines. I think it's super great on the Pro Controller. And I think the audience on Switch... No offense, Switch first-person shooter or third-person shooter players, but I think that the uh, the audience on Switch is an easy audience to kind of do work on. 
and there's nothing wrong with wanting to do work. Um, you can try out any of the characters, they've got training, um, they've got the tutorial, they've got rank mode that you'll eventually unlock, and the matchmaking is quick. I think because it's Star Wars, a lot of people are into it, a lot of people are giving it a chance. Uh, I think it'll probably have support from Zynga, you know, they've got a boatload of cash. Star Wars is a very popular IP that I'm sure has flooded them with money. There's a bunch of interesting races represented, you know, you've got your, your Wookiee and your sister and your... Uh, you know, you're, uh, Rodian, and you've got a freaking Sprocket, you got droids, you got Stormtroopers, you got a Mandalorian in the Season Pass, there's a free Season Pass, um, there is a paid Season Pass, but it's not necessary. Like I said, like, yes, you're going to have to put some time in to unlock all the characters, but because the matches are quick, because the loads are quick, and look at this performance, like, this game runs well. How on earth did they get this to run the, like look at the frame rate look at this this is online this is online and maybe you say well zach it's because it's not very popular it's because a lot of people aren't playing it. i don't know like you saw fast getting the matches it seems like it's you know it's going pretty pretty well i've got a shield on my boy look at that quick elimination i can drop that shield i can pop it like it's hot hey sprocket get the heck out of here boom down goes sprocket and i gotta say having some like freaking success in a, in a shooter makes my mouth happy makes my teeth smile makes me uh very very excited it's pretty dope um i think it's really cool and boom okay this guy's got a shield on we're gonna put our shield up sprocket look at that sprocket's doing work the ultimates are fun the ultimates are quick to acquire there's health that you can see around the arena you got health around the arena you got um like a recharge around the arena and there's a great balance of like being able to succeed on your own and then you know being able to rely on your teammates i feel like because it's a little bit low investment compared to like you know it's not going to be as challenging or difficult as something like overwatch valorant even marvel rivals you kind of can just get in and get out and like what do we always talk about that's perfect for a switch game right getting in and getting out right we want games where you can just like have a quick good time enjoy the heck out of yourself and then go do something else and like a star wars hunters match geez that was wow uh star wars hunters match feels like a marvel snap match like it takes a few minutes you can have fun be successful get some unlocks and then like look, there's a freaking droideka like this is quality work this is what i like to see this is great and i'm very happy about it you can try out all the characters and i love some of the ultimates that the different characters have um, I, oh wow, okay, I really like how they've set everybody up, I'm resilient there, okay, <laughs> that poor freaking evil Sith, oh, he's got his squad with him, squad boys in the club tonight, everybody dancing, trying to burn me up, I'm gonna knock that guy over, there's some knockback, there's some stuns, there's the ability to get slashed and crashed and eliminated, you know, maybe once or twice per match, and a lot of the matches have been lopsided, but I feel like they're lopsided in my favor, pretty freaking great, Calling in some stormtroopers to follow me around. What a great time. What an awesome, exciting adventure. I'm going to get the kill here. Should get the kill here. And we get the win. The Gundarks defeat the Mudhorns. I'm telling you, if you have any affinity for Star Wars, it's just going to make this much better. But even if you don't, this is the kind of quick switch shooter that I feel like we've always needed. You know, they have tried to put Paladins, and they've tried to put Overwatch... And they've tried to put Fortnite. Fortnite is successful on Switch, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's it's just freaking this is this is the Switch shooter. And besides just having fun, besides winning, besides liking Star Wars, you know, because of my current card game obsession, I am thoroughly impressed at the port job that Zynga did. No matter about the UI and all that, like it's pretty great that they were able to deliver something that actually just works, works right off the bat. Um, and delivers a fast, fun game. So you'll see that, like, I can get this uh, 9.99 Arena Pass, which is a 60-day, like a two-month Arena Pass. It's going to give me the new Hunter, 60 cosmetics, 400 crystals, additional challenges. Arental is the um, the new Hunter, and then you know there's free tiers, there's paid tiers. But I can go in here, and this is another nice thing. I think you can see all these characters. Um, and can I not try her out? Let's see. I, I've got... Okay, this is not, must not be where you go to try them out. I'm looking at them here. Looking at the overview. You can level up the characters. You can uh, unlock them. There's stickers. There's costumes. There's all sorts of things like that. But 
Let's see, there's a way where you can go and run these guys through. I think, uh, let's go back to home. It might be the training grounds. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I do really appreciate that, you know, it's that simple to work. So we can go into the arena and give somebody a try, which, you know, is a mobile game thing, I understand. But I don't feel like, like, if you just want to play, you can just play. Like, okay, look, I got this dude right here, right? He's in here, he's throwing in grenades, he's got a shotgun blast to take out these droids, and then his his ultimate is pretty epic. Um, he can drink this juice to heal himself, which is pretty freaking cool. The shotgun, you know, does require a little bit of uh, good effort because it's one shot and a reload. But it does pack a punch. You go for that headshot. We got a different distinction between the headshots, between the leg shots. You know, we're doing different amounts of damage. And then he can go into this, like, rage mode. Everybody's got different ultimates. This is a melee-driven ultimate. Like, the animations are good. The arenas look good. You got Ewok arenas. You got pod racing arenas. You got a lot of good stuff here. And I gotta say, this is one of the biggest surprises of 2024. And I don't think many people are talking about it. And I don't think many people are gonna talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this video. If you liked it. Uh, if you want to see more. Oh, we unlocked a new guy. Dude. We're bringing in Graz. Look, they even have like intro videos. There is charm here. There is, there is care. Like there is TLC from the Zynga team. Graz is a tank. He's getting improvised clubs, a boulder rush. Pretty freaking cool. There is a way to try out, like I showed you, uh, all the characters. I don't unlock now. Oh, try. Okay. So it's on this hunter track. I'm unlocking Zeno right now. There's Diago. There's Score the Rodian. There's Jedi J3D1. Char, who I just showed you. Reeve. Sprocket. Utuni. Slingshot. Uh, he's the little pig man inside the, the battle droid. Um, droid Deca. I don't... I guess you can't try... I don't know that I can try Aaron Tall, which is honestly, in my opinion, a bit of a mistake. Um, I might have to, like, they might lock her since she is a season. Well, let's see. If we go to, let's see. If we go to the pass, the arena pass, where it's going to be like, do you want to buy the arena pass? Oops, that's not it. Do you want to buy the arena pass? Can we try out our girl? She's the top of the food chain, I think. If we zoom to the top. Or maybe Aaron tells us an auto unlock. Yeah, okay, gosh, there are a lot of tiers. Complete the arena pass to get these different sprays. Um, and this premium arena champion for Aaron Tall. Okay, pretty cool. We've got all sorts of, I mean, again, you can engage with this if you want. But let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see more Star Wars Outlaws or Star Wars Hunters gameplay on this, uh, on this channel. I do think it's a very good time, and uh, I'm having a blast, which is great for a year where Switch is slow. So let me know what your take is in the comments down below, everybody. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Love you lots. Switch Force, out.